Now let's bring you up to date on the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. There are warnings that a large and bloody battle could be looming between Ukrainian and Russian forces. The clash would be over control of the southern Ukrainian city of Kherson, which has been occupied for many months. Ukraine says Russia has been strengthening its military force there while telling civilians to leave. Meanwhile, the deputy prime minister has urged Ukrainians who have left Ukraine to stay in their host nations until spring. She says that Ukraine's energy system will not cope if they return. Well, earlier I spoke to Hugo Bachega, who brought me up to date. I think it was a dramatic announcement yesterday by uh, the Deputy Prime Minister Irina Vereshuk uh, telling Ukrainians who've left the country to stay where they are and do not return before winter is over. And I think this shows uh, the pressure that the system is facing here after a wave of Russian attacks targeting uh, electricity infrastructure across the country. The government says that uh, about a third of the country's energy system has been destroyed as a result of those attacks. And cities across the country are facing power cuts. Uh, residents have been told to reduce their energy consumption. And I think the fear here is that uh, the system uh, will be unable to cope as uh, winter approaches. This is a country where temperatures can drop to uh, minus 10, 15, 20 degrees Celsius. So there is a lot of concern here that uh, the system uh, will not be able to cope with rising demand as winter approaches. And now we had this uh, very dramatic uh, plea from the government telling people to stay out of the country if they can. Yeah, as you were just saying there, I mean, frankly, it's mainly because the energy systems themselves have been attacked. Exactly. And we saw in the last two weeks uh, Russia car carrying out a wave of missile drone attacks targeting critical infrastructure across the country in cities away from the front lines. And the Ukrainians have been saying that this is how Russia is reacting to military defeats on the battlefield by attacking civilian sites, civilian infrastructure in cities away from the front lines. And I think we're hearing President Zelensky, uh, senior Ukrainian officials, saying that they need air defense uh, systems to protect cities from the threat of Russian missiles and also from those uh, Iranian-made drones that Russia has been using to attack uh, cities across the country. Uh, Hugo, you've been uh, keeping us up to date on, on the developments in Kherson. Uh, just give us uh, the very latest because, uh, you know, that is uh, one of the cities or the, the only city that, that is in Russian control, but the Ukrainians have really been trying to push back. But things are constantly moving and shifting and changing. And it is very difficult to get a clear picture of what's happening there because Kherson itself, it seems that the internet has been cut off in the city and there is now a news blackout imposed by the Ukrainian authorities. We know that Ukrainian forces are advancing along the Dnipro River and the key target here is the city of Kherson, which is one of the largest Ukrainian cities under Russian occupation, uh, the capital of uh, one of the four regions uh, that President uh, Putin has claimed that he was annexing. So uh, it's seems that uh, this is uh a warning uh, from the Ukrainian authorities. Last uh, night we heard from one of the president's uh, top advisors saying that there were no signs that Russian troops were leaving Kherson and in fact they were sending in more troops to the city. And I think you can hear the air raid siren has just gone off here in Kiev. That's Hugo Bachega reporting there from Kiev.